Hey everyone, welcome back to some more Hogwarts Legacy. I've got a plan for the beginning of this video. I know what I'm going to do. I'm not going to get distracted. Not one bit. No, it's not happening. Um, I can't seem to do this Merlin trial. It's uh, maybe just not possible at this point in the game. Maybe I need a new spell or something. This countryside is absolutely stunning. Uh, but we are going to head back to Pippin, Parry Pippin, because we've completed his quest. Um, I actually really like this robe. If it was a slightly different colour, I, I think I'd probably wear that the whole game, maybe. But I, I am going to go back to the dragon coat eventually. But I like the way this, this robe moves. It's a good length. Um, let's spend the next ten minutes talking about this robe. Uh, no, let's jump back on our broom. Uh, I suppose we could fast travel, but this is just so much more fun. Yes. So, yeah, we're going to head back to Pippin's. I'm going to hand in the quest, and we're going to buy um, a few potions from him. I could possibly make them, but I think we're just going to save some time. We're going to buy them, because we've got quite a lot of money right now. We're going to buy them, and we're going to use them all to complete the um, assignment for Professor Sharp, because he just wants us to use a bunch of potions. So hopefully we'll do that, which will lead us to... Um, some sort of reward. Depulso. Ah, yes, the, the force push. Okay, we definitely want that. So that's probably going to work out quite nicely. And then we are going to go do the uh, Room of Requirement quest, which I'm very excited to do, finally. Um, that was kind of the, the second big thing uh, after the broom. And we've got the broom now, so I'm going to go chat to Professor Weasley. Go chat to old... Uh, what's her name? Crap, what's her first name? I just, I wanted to call her Molly, but that's not it. What was her name again? I don't know, can't remember. Anyway, actually, this is, this is going to take bloody forever to get there, innit? Even, even going super quick, uh, quack? Super, super quack. Super quick. Uh, and yeah, you go, you go quicker the closer to the ground you are, apparently. And that's where some of, like, the upgrades we can get, um, for the broom come into play. Like, going quicker, higher altitudes. Oh, something was firing at me then. Whoa, what are those? Have we fought those? Yeah, the the the, the tongue things. What is it? What is it fighting? I don't know. Anyway, let's leave it to it. Oh, this game is bloody gorgeous. Yeah, let's fast travel. Um, there's so many Merlin trials around, though. We really should get some of these done, but no, I said no distractions, and I meant it. There's so many Merlin's Trials. Let's go back to Hogsmeade. Uh, oh, no, 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 what am I doing, what am I doing? Can you tell I've not played this in a few days? Right. Boom. Yeah, we, uh, we delivered... The invisibility potions last time. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Uh, to a lady who I did not like one bit. So let's get our reward for it. Oh there, in the market for potions. I will be in a mini. Uh, in a mini? I can't talk today. In a minute, Parry. I nearly said uh, P Piri, Piri Pappin, <laughs> Piri Pappin. No, let's uh, let's talk. I delivered the potions to Fatima Lawang. That was her name. I delivered the potions to Fatima Lawang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? She was a bit of a bitch, but, you know, it's fine. She's certainly difficult. Well, I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. Cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. Yeah, um, I'd like an additional fee. <laughs> Are we going to get away with this? Delivering those potions was a bit more work than I'd expected. I'd like an additional fee. I suppose that's business for you. Very well, I shall increase your pay, but I'm not at all pleased about it. I don't give By a fuck. By the way, I found this book of potion recipes in Kingbridge. Oh yeah, we did. Might it be useful to you? Is this Fatima's recipe book? I, I don't know. If it is, she doesn't deserve it back. You should keep it. She doesn't deserve to have it. I appreciate what you're saying, but you have much to learn about respecting the property of others. <laughs> Some things are sacred amongst potioneers. 
I shall return it to her immediately. You spoil sport. I went through all that effort to bring it to you as well. Ungrateful bastard. Right, a demanding delivery. We just got a new hat, didn't we? Bunch of XP. Right, and a bit of money. So I'm going to... Wait, wait, whoa, wait, whoa, whoa, wait, wait a minute. What the heck was I that? I to see you again. Farewell for now. What's the purple? East North Hogwarts region. Oh, is that a... Did I accidentally set a waypoint? Oh, well. All right, what Parry. What can I do for you today? Um, I reckon I would like to buy... It, it, I definitely need an Endurus potion. Do I already have one, though? I actually don't know what potions I've got. I know we want a focus one as well, and we need to... And a Maxima one. And we need to use two of them at the same time. And I think the other one doesn't matter. Uh, let me just quickly check what potions I've I got. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Okay, I've got a Maxima potion. That's fine. We've got an Endurus potion. So I just need to buy a focus one. Okay. That's worked what out quite I cheap for then. You today? I mean, they are going to be wasted because I'm not in combat and I'm not going to really get any benefit from them, but I'm still going to do it. A wise decision. Thank you. I'm still going to do it. And I've still got absolute shed loads of money. Again. Farewell for now. Right, see ya, uh, Piri pa Pappin. Parry Poppins. Right, can I can I use these potions just anywhere? Let me let me quickly before before we do this. Let me just quickly check to make sure that I've got the right end of the wand here. Um, acquire Maxima and Adurus potions. Use them simultaneously. Right, so we can just use the focus one wherever. But the other two, I mean, we might as well just use them all at once then. That should that should work, right? Uh. Kadoosh. Kadoosh, that was a really cool effect, by the way. Yeah, I think that worked. We are just a stone man right now. We're hard as shit, mate. Oh my god, that is actually quite a cool effect. Look at that. Ha. Huh. We're like one of those street performers that like look like statues. They're really impressive. And then... Glug, glug, glug. All right, attend potions class during the day. Will do. Yeah, we just wasted those potions, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go do potions class probably after we've we've uh, seen Professor Weasley. So let's go do that because we need. I require a room. Uh, which one? It was in the astronomy wing. Yeah. Yes. Let's freaking go. Feels like ages since we were at Hogwarts. We've been out and about for quite a while. Oh well. Right then. Yeah, I really I really like this area of the of the of the Handy castle. Indeed, your field guide. I'm most yes, Ignatia, I know. I fucking know. Yeah, it's, I think this will be one of my favorite classes. Okay, where is Mm, can't remember her name. Professor Weasley! I think she's below me. Or is she above me? We don't know. Have I been up here before? I must have been up here before. Have I? No, she's below me. She's definitely below me. In fact, why the heck don't we just freaking select the quest and have the thing guide us to it? That would probably make the most sense. Dee dee dee. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Here we go. Am I being watched? Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. It's going to appear in that wall, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. 
I see you've wasted no time. Well done. I didn't do anything. Shall we? Yes. Off to you, Professor. Oh, we got manners. What fun awaits us in here? That's a wow, it's freaking this place. This is the room of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it <sighs> by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? Hmm, he must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, where, Professor. Where is that hairy Deke? The house Deke? elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. It can be hard finding a little Deke. Som sometimes, guys, it can be hard. You could, you could be rummaging around forever and just not find you, your little Deke, but... Um, this place is full of shit. Oh my god, I would absolutely just love to play hide-and-seek in here or something. You know what I mean? I know that's a very childish thing to think, but I, I do. I always... I, any 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 time it can strike me. Oh, this place. This would be great for hide-and-seek. Um, so, are we going to be training any uh, wannabe Dumbledore army members in here? I guess not. It's very cozy, isn't it? Oh, I love that there's just flocks of books flying around like fucking birds. It's great. It is quite dark in here, isn't it? How do I do the old? Uh, I've completely forgotten how to. There we go. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. Uh. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Okay, so... Where do they go, though? When you vanish them, where do they go? You can't just... They don't just disappear, do they? I... I don't know. Let's, let's bring this spell to life, guys. Let's do it. Let's wake up this spell. Wake it up inside. There we go. I, I I butchered that reference, but you get it. You get the joke. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Evanesco. Right, let's assign the spell to our square button. We're just going to make it go poof. Vanish. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. How did I do that? We shall discuss its uses later. Let's I mean, I, I've got Moonstones falling out of my ass, Professor. Why Why do I need more of them? Where in Merlin's name is that elf? I don't know. He could be anywhere. This is so good. I mean, can you imagine? Like... That... Goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. Do you mind? I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Okay. Yes, I'll, Professor. I was trying to make a joke about, like, imagine cash in the attic in here. Imagine that. Anyway. Ooh. A. I waited f uh, for you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of... <laughs> of parchment than you'd expected. Let me know if you want to try to meet again. Sincerely, T. Okay, that's a lovely little fireplace. Uh, Lumos. Yeah, let's get Lumos on the go. That's what I was trying to do earlier, but the game wouldn't let me. Ooh. Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Sorry. That wasn't my fault. It's that jack in the box. Alright. Um... So I wonder what else we can make vanish. Because I, I can't think of any instances where we could have used this, but maybe my memory just sucks. Yeah, that's a lot of moonstone. I mean, holy crap. What are we going to use those for? Oh, looks like we got uh, some Accio. 
Lumos. No, I didn't mean to bloody do that, you knob. You doing, man? There we go. That's what I want to do. I really do struggle swapping spells sometimes. Oh, it's these little eyeball things again. Ooh. Right, there's gotta be there's gotta be something. Wait, there's gotta be Oh, maybe I use the box to climb up somewhere? Oh, up there. Okay, I moved the box too far away. Whoops, it is. Okay. Um can I make that jump? Oh, just about. Chesticle. Wait, hang on. I did I did sell all my gear, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did. Pretty sure I did. Pretty sure I did. Pretty sure I did. Yes, I did. Oh, and yeah, we found some pieces of equipment that we need to appraise, apparently, in this room. So, hopefully, we'll be able to do that very soon. Uh, a leather flat cap. Wait, it's Reek Northern. Time to put on your flat cap, lad. Get down to mill. Holy shit. That was a steep slope, lad. Follow the candles. Are they four candles? Uh, I feel like I've hit a dead end here. Can I make these things disappear? Oh, there we go. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! What are you guys talking about? Oh, you drop, you drop. Not, uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Pull yourself together, man. You know what this reminds me of? I think there was, um, I think it was a true story of, of, I think it was in New York. There was like this, this couple of guys that lived in this, uh, in this house, and they just hoarded so many things, and one of them ended up dying in there because they couldn't move for all the crap that they'd accumulated. Like, it was, it was, like, really, really nasty. Um, I'm pretty sure, I, I don't remember the name of the, of the people, but I'm pretty sure that was real. And, uh, this, this is what I kind of imagine it looked like. Because I think one of them just got really ill and just couldn't, couldn't get out of the house because there was too much shit in it. Pretty grim, pretty grim stuff. Uh... Yeah, always flush. Oh, another note. Bit offended the room thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. Ooh. Hey. This is pretty. This is very pretty. It's very red. We've got red on us. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? With great difficulty. Oh, we got a harp. Or some sort of instrument. Guys, do you know what that instrument's called? Is it a harp or is it a different kind of thing? I don't know. What was that? Oh. Is that a snitch? Is that a golden snitch? Oh my god, is that a snitch? What Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. Could I... <laughs> <laughs> um, could I? I've just thought. In, um, in Quidditch, when you've got to catch the snitch, could you not just cast Accio at it? Or has it got, like, a protection against an Accio? Like an anti-Accio charm? Honk. Honk, honk. <laughs> I love those honking daffodils. Oh, uh, right, we've got to move that. And jump up somewhere. Uh, I love this room. This is so cool. Alright, we don't want to go that way just yet. There's definitely... Ah. There's another box there. Can I destroy that? I'm trying to. No, I'm trying to hit the the wood. Okay. Uh, can I make the wood disappear? No. Okay. Well, let's just uh, pull this through here. Oh, I'd I'd love exploring this. This is so cool. This is so cool. Right. Hey, we found a quaffle. Uh... Right, move this here. Now I can go through? Is that what I... I have no idea. Uh, can you... You could totally climb through that. Oh, there's a chest there. Oh, hang on. 
Ah, now I can open it. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. And it's a lavender patch scarf. That's quite lovely. Let's equip that, shall we? Um... How good is it? Plus five offense? Oh, very nice. I do like me some purple. Do like me some purple. Expelliarmus. Whoops. Sorry. Lumos. There's just so we much stuff. Our self can find us in here. Yeah, good luck getting back out, Philip. Ooh. It's all very mystical, isn't it? Tell you what, you would be completely fucked if one of these suitcases fell and it was a structurally, like, integral. <laughs> hey, there he is. I found me, Guys, me little deke. Careful. Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. <clears throat> Hello. Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. Wow. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. Hmm. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant! Well, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. Full of naked Scarlett Johansson. The room will do the rest. alive you've given yourself quite a canvas to work with I look forward to seeing what you do with the space ah and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Yes. Good idea. Uh, you've unlocked the desk of description. Yes, okay. I've got a couple of things that need des describing. Oh look, there's teapots. Uh, orange eye of newt goggles. Oh my god, like, um... You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. Yeah. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I'm sure it will. Alright, I'm gonna chat to her in a minute. This place is... Oh my god, look at this. This looks amazing. Um, yeah, you better keep it clean, Deke. You better keep it clean. I... think... Just makes me think of Mad Eye Moody, what we just got. The, uh, the one eye thing. Is it gonna move? That'd be so cool. That would be so cool. It's only a little bit better. Oh, we've actually got a trait on it. Increased damage with Bombarda, which I haven't bloody learned yet, but still, that's pretty sweet. I think it does move. Did it move a little bit? 
oh god, we look super freaking eccentric now. I don't know. I, th I thought it did move, but it's not really moving now, so I don't know. I think we're going to rock that for a little bit. That's really, 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 really weird. Right. Um... I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Oh, another spell. Two spells in one video. Holy crap. Uh, right. God, I'm so good at these. I'm much better at learning the spell than I am actually using them. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. I thought so. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I have indeed. I where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for Oh, I've I see. easily got enough. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm quite perceptive. <laughs> Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Sounds good to me, Professor. Conjuring spell. New spell unlocked. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, um, I'm gonna have to unlock. In fact, can I do that now? Can I get another spell set? Because... I'm super lazy, and uh, I just think that'd be really convenient. We've got tons of talent points. We've still got six talent points. And I know I should probably put those into s some better things, but I think another spell set would actually work quite nicely. So I'm going to do it. There we go. We can just have a, a tree specifically for Room of Requirement stuff. Or something. Right. Let's have a look. So, got a whole new set there. Uh, conjuring spell. Pop you on that. In fact, I'm going to put um, Evanesco on that one as well. And for that one, we'll pop whatever that is. Wingardium Leviosa uh, on that square one eventually. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Right. So, right, item used to brew potions. Let's, uh, let's get our, it's going to be a utility, isn't it? Decorations, artwork, statues. See, it looks like we're going to be able to kind of make this place our own. I'm probably not going to spend too much time on that because I'm very boring. I don't ever really bother with aesthetic things like that, but um, we might do. Utility. Oh, we've already got a desk of description. Okay. So is it potions? Ah, okay. A small scientific potion stand. A small botanical potion stand. Uh, does it matter? One burner. Is it? Is it just purely aesthetic, the difference? It looks like it. A gothic one. Um, we'll go for the scientific one for now. Oh. Ah, right. Okay. So, how do I uh, rotate? There we go. Where should I put this? Can I put it over in... Nope. Okay. 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 We'll pop it. Um, kind of... Here? I don't know. Right, and yeah, we, so Moonstone is, is what's used for all this stuff. Good job we've we've got, like, millions of it. Um, 
Let's pop in uh, a her herbology. Uh, we'll kind of we'll kind of stick with the scientific theme for now. We'll pop that, I guess, next to it over here. Which way does, round does it go? That way? Yeah, let's just pop it. Yeah. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you I've got million. I've got so much stuff. The castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. <laughs> Those goggles. Uh, thank you, Professor. I'd like to know more about Deke. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. All right. Can I use transfiguration magic anywhere? I'm guessing not. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. Okay. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Yeah, I mean, can you imagine if you could just go around and be like, right, I'm just going to make this part of the castle disappear. Like, can you imagine? Thank you, Professor. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. I mean, sure. Yeah. Why not? All right. Quest complete. Got some new decorations, rugs, uh, chairs. All right, where, where is Deke? Oh, there he is. And we just fast travel here whenever we want. Awesome. Hi, Deke. What are you eating? Munching on an apple. I'm just one hungry Deke. Right, um, so it looks like she's got a side quest for us. We might as well do it since we're here. We're going to get another spell, so. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moose. Oh, way ahead of you. You can acquire it by vanishing I know, I know, I know. Of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts I, grounds. Yeah. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I probably have enough. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say I probably have enough moonstone. Oh, before I do that, actually, let's actually get some things cooking, shall we? Um... I reckon we'll make a Maxima Potion. Oh, that really doesn't take long at all. Yeah. Alright. Go pop something in the herbology. What are we going to make here? Dittany. Oh, yeah. Let's plant some... We can actually... Pl oh, we can grow Mallow Sweet. But we need the recipe from the Magic Neep. Um... Or well, seeds, sorry. Mandrakes. Chinese jumping cabbage. I still need to remember to use these more in battle. Okay, uh, let's grow some Disney. It's going to take 10 minutes. That's me potion done. That really doesn't take long at all. Uh, we'll pop a, a Wigan Weld in there as well. That's only going to take 15 seconds. Right, I have the Moonstone. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. I hope so. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Okay. Conjure wall decorations. Uh, and floor decorations, right. Uh, well, yeah, rugs, I'm guessing. Should we pop pop a rug down? Ooh, I like the look of uh, I like the look of this one. Medium gothic rug. Gonna need gonna need a bigger rug than that for this room, but we'll pop it there anyway. <laughs> oh wait, I can change color as well. Oh, 
Oh, that's cool. Oh, I didn't know that. Anyway, we'll leave that as it is for now. Kind of do like that colour anyway. Uh, let's put up some paintings. Oh my god, we've got a million of them. I'm going to put up a, a picture of this chicken thing. Yeah. Is that supposed to... Did people say that's supposed to be a dodo? I don't know. Where shall I put it? Oh, yes. Yes, there we go. Um, or, a, or a phoenix. I mean, phoenixes are cooler. But no, this will be the chicken room. Dodo room, whatever. Um, have I done it? Put some decorations there. Oh, wall hangings. Let's put a wall hanging on. Yes. Uh, a long mirror. Let's put a long mirror down. Oh, that actually does reflect me as well. That's cool. Uh, looks like we've got a, a conjuration budget as well. So we can only put so many things in, I guess. Right, are we done? Oh, I need to do... Oh, I didn't even look at the thing. Right, we need five floor decorations and three more wall decorations, right? Um, let's pop some more paintings down. Um, oh, the dapper wizard portrait. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm going to call this guy James Temple Smithson. And he is going to have pride of place over here. Oh, yes. Jolly good. That's the way. Um, let's pop a nurse and... No, not a nurse. But house elf and mistress? I don't know. It's bad. I don't... Okay. That's a picture. Um, oh, look at that gazing witch portrait. Yep, that'll do. One more. Where am I going to put it? Uh, pop it here. Whatever it is, what do we want to put there? Oh, it's too too big. Um, ow. Pop that there. Makes it a little bit more homely, doesn't it? Right, now we just need a shit ton of floor decorations. Does it... I mean, would furniture classes of floor? I don't have any furniture anyway. Tables? Ooh, let's put a nice big old freaking gothic table in the middle. On the rug. On the, on the gothic rug. Bosh. That does count as a floor decoration. Good, because it's on the floor. Um, statues. Oh, we got a freaking hippogriff statue, didn't we? Fucking sweet. Oh, it's massive. It's so, it's so huge. Pop you there. Beautiful. I could just have a room full of hippogriff statues. <laughs> oh, what else do we want to put down? I don't know. Uh, giant purple toad statue. No, thanks. Um, oh, let's get some nice cozy chairs. Yes. A gothic chair for my gothic table. In fact, we can pop another one. Perfect. Shall we move on? I think we should. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. Oh, like the color? You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Oh, I've got to learn it right, okay. Again, absolute master of all these spells. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing that's the altering one. Alrighty. Can I alter my shirt so it's not the same color of my teeth? Can I do that? Uh, right, let's do this one. Can I alter pr you, Professor? Oh, so it's just a quicker way of changing... Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Right, you're going to be a gothic chair as well. Oh, you're blue right now. Let's change that colour. I want a purple one. There we go. 
I did it. Oh, just the size of an item. Wait, what? Just the size of an item? Can I make the rug bigger? Wait, scientific central... Whoa! I can make the... Oh, I can make an actual different floor too. I can't do that right now. Um... How do I target the rug? That's the... Uh... How do... How do I change the size of the rug? It just makes me want to do the floor. I don't want to change the floor. I can't change the floor. I want to change the bloody rug. Right, let's not try that then. Let's try... The, the chair again. Adjust the size of an item. How can I change the size? Oh! D-pad! Oh! Can I make a massive chair? Oh my god, I can make a massive chair. Nicely done. Now <laughs> you're ready for something a little more advanced. What the frick? You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Yeah, I've done that by accident. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Try aiming at the floor or at that balcony. I kind of like the balcony. Let's do the floor. Well, I kind of like the floor. Uh. Ooh. Oh, quite like the botanical one, actually. This will apply the current visuals and color to. Yeah, do it. Your space moves from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deek, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deek this bit of magic some years ago. Deek thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deek when you're ready. All right. So yeah, we've made it all botanical, win it. What is a giant beehive? That's cute. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? A sex dungeon. Um, dark and mysterious, natural and earthy. Mo a cool moonlit ambience sounds perfect. Oh. I'm guessing, is this just, just going to take uh, change the time of day? Uh, something natural and earthy. Let's go for dark and mysterious. I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie. As if I'm in the forbidden forest, surrounded by shadows. You're a psychopath, Philip. Oh, sounds perfect. Ooh. That's epic. We're now in a haunted house, mansion, place. Hmm. Quite a difference. Yeah, just a little bit. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. This is cool. I didn't think there'd be this much, like, customization. How much of it is actually, like, necessary? Probably not much, but, like, we can make potions here, and it's just a nice little space we can make our own. Oh. Okay, that's one way to renovate. It's like my own personal mansion, isn't it? An even bigger space. Damn. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Use it Weasley. Ha! <laughs> Um, cool! Alrighty! Interior decorating! That's pretty sweet! Oh, and we're level 19! Okay, what to do next? We could go to potions. Oh, did he need, I thought that... Wow! Did I really plant those 10 minutes ago? Okay. Ah, oh, this is so cool, though. Wow. Oh, my Wigan Wells ready. Good, good, good. Let's crank another one in there. 
How many of those have I got right now? Seven. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, we'll go to we'll go to potions class and um, get our uh, Depulso spell, and then I think Sebastian has a main story quest for us, but there are obviously other side quests we could do. Right then, I will be back. Oh my hippogriff! I'm going to call you Griff. This is this is a very very cool uh, addition. Right, let's go. I suppose I could have just fast traveled from here, but um, anyway. God damn. <laughs> I'm going to see that every time I leave on it. Oh, and it disappears. And then it comes back. And then it, and then it disappears. And then it comes back. <clears throat> right. Where are we off to, Philip? We do have a bunch of side quests to do. Yeah, Sebastian's at the Defense Against the Dark Arts class. Where's my, uh... Potion... Where's the potions class? I forget. Let's track that. Locate on the map. Uh, everywhere. Okay. Potions classroom. Yeah, apparently quite a few people are thirsting over Professor Sharp. As well as, um, Professor Garlic. Can't say I blame ya. Yeah, I like that we get these little cutscenes to show that we're actually having a lesson. Oh yeah, there's Gareth. What's that? Oh, and there's, that's definitely Voldemort's uh, freaking ancestor, isn't it? Ah, what a lovely, lovely potions lesson that was. Right. How are your assignments coming along? Very well, actually. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Am I actually going to get to show it off? Do not let your mind wander. Huh, mind wander. Bosh. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. Can I though? I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. But can I do the the other thing, sir? Sir, can I please? Right, let's get that equipped now. Yeah, again, we're we're gonna be running low on on spells here. Um. Right. Whoops. Oh, I pressed the wrong bloody button. Right, where's Depulso? That's Expelliarmus. Where's... De there's... There's... No, there. Yes, Depulso, right. Let's pop you on... There instead. That's Accio, you knob. No! Oh my god, dude. That's better. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spell casting. I'm kind of crap at it though. Get get away. Get back your bastard that's what it could be that's what it should be called, this spell. Get back your bastard, I'll break your legs, so. Right, well that's good. That's another spell in our inventory. I um Lumos. I'm I I I just need to get the hang of swapping between these all these spells. I probably would want Depulso, because I think um, with ha with how often I've taken damage, having Depulso to just get someone away from me quickly is probably going to be very useful. That's locked. Okay, what to do next, Philip? We could go see Sebastian, but I think we'll we'll do that next time. Confringo. Yeah, I do want to learn that. Um, all right, what are the we could give the sun, uh, Summoner's Court a go, but again, that's it's kind of a mini-game, so I'm not too bothered about that. Um, what else have we got? 
Oh yeah, we could let's go let's go chat to Gareth. He's gonna get us some gold. Descending for sweets. Let's go to the Great Hall and see what Gareth's up to. What are you up to now? Uh Gareth! Oh, another howler. Great. It's probably the same one. <clears throat> ah, he's in here, is he? Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? I, I, I suppose I do. Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see... I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. A fizzing wisby just sounds amazing. Um, okay. Shouldn't you be stood? Nah. I can't wait to see what you brew up, Gareth. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing wisbies is dried billywig stings. Billywigs. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Matilda. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke Cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. I am so up for this. It sounds rather untoward. Secret passage right, right up my street. Of course. You never know when you might need a quick means of escape from the castle. God, Brilliant. Sounds so evil. Thank you. But you should know that it's not exactly quick. It's the secret bit that's helpful. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Yeah. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Right. Yeah, because we've definitely found that before. But we obviously didn't have the, uh, the spell uh, or the, um, keyword. Can't someone buy them for you? Isn't this stealing? I don't care. Let's give it a try. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. Yeah, this is to totally stealing. Uh, breaking and entering I'll and need stealing. I'll get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. Let's go. A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. You say that, Philip, but this school is absolutely fucking massive. I'm already at my destination. Oh shit, am I? Wait, what? What? No, I'm not. Oh, I oh, I've got to, I've actually got to find it. Oh, well I did find it earlier. I can't remember where it was now. Uh This way. This looks like the right statue. Uh, oh. Now, what was the password? He literally told us like Five seconds ago, Philip, but I've also forgotten as well, so I'm not going to give you shit for it. Descendium. Descendium. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Goodness. Who knew this was all down here? I bet there's going to be some Luma. beasties. Although maybe not. Maybe there won't be any fights. Oh. A lift. Must be how I get down. Looks broken though. I can bloody fix that. Repair. Hey. It's quite an extravagant repair job. Okay. That seems to have done the trick. Yes, it does. Anything around here? I've I've not wow, is that the first time I've used Revelio this whole bloody video? Oh, I bet people are screaming at me. You should be spamming Revelio! Yeah, I know. I know. Alright. Up or down? Down. Are there gonna be any... ...baddies down here then, or...? I want some- I want to test my, uh, Depulso. This castle will never cease to surprise me. Right? A little more, uh... Poor clump juice. God, can you imagine being the first student to find this? Revelio. Be mental, wouldn't it? Oh god, why are there so many bloody cobwebs? 
Incendio. Uh, gold wooden spectacles, load of shite. Uh, do I Accio this? Accio. Aha! And then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. Oh, Defindo, yes, I would very much like to learn how to cut things. I could lift this platform, I think I could get it to work. Oh, lift. Yeah, do it right. Thanks, Philip. Let me also. Yep. Maybe I should have done that when I was stood on it. Oh, no, I can just do that. There we go. Yeah, Defindo. I remember using that to cut down the tapestries in the older games. Going to have to get past this. Right. Well, first of all, there's some goodies down here, Philip, so we'll go grab these. Ooh, an even better scarf. Uh... Is it going to be much better, though? One. Yeah, I'm not going to bother um, worrying too much about the uh, transmog. Should we get a different wand, Andal? Yeah, we'll use that for a little bit. I can hear a frog. Oh, there's the frogs. Revelio. Right. Uh, time to levy oh so. Very good. Uh, that might need to be repair repair road, I reckon. Repair road. And then. Levioso. Philip. There you go. Cool. I like how they've implemented the spells in the woo. In this to just get around easier. Incendio. I mean, it's very simple stuff, but it's still cool. You, you, it actually makes you feel like you, you know, actively using magic to help yourself. Uh. Okay. Repair. I just need to memorize, get muscle memory built up to where I've what buttons I've allocated certain spells. I haven't quite got that yet. Getting in the way of that platform. Oh. Accio. Ah, there we go. Levioso. Aha. Oof. Got it. That was a bit of a that was a bit of a leap there, Philip. Revelio. Hey, he wasn't kidding when he said it wasn't exactly quick. This must be the way out. Ah. I need to find a way to open that gate. I'm guessing we have to set these on fire. Incendio. Oh, there we go. I oh yeah, because we upgraded Incendio. It it uh, it's more powerful, so it spread out. Rebellion. I feel like there's got to be something else in this room. Yeah, there is. Let's go for a swim, Philip. A brushed wool cape. Something smells sweet. Must be close to honey juice. Shit. Um, yeah, we're gonna need, uh, probably gonna need to be invisible for this. If we're gonna be sneaking into Honey Dukes. Revelio. Revelio. It's not exactly a ton of money, but it's better than nothing. Oh, school jumper, you, yeah, nice. And a Wigan Weld, thank you kindly. Alright, Honey Dukes. Hogsmeade, here I come. Could you say that a bit louder, Philip? I don't think everyone in Hogsmeade heard you. Right. Again, just to be on the safe side. Honey Dukes. I can smell the chocolate. Oh, I want some chocolate now. now. Where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? Um, well, I don't know. I've never been in this basement before, Philip. I guess we're just gonna have to Ready. look around. Again, I don't actually know if I do need to be sneaking here, but I'm, I'm doing it anyway, because I feel like that just makes sense. 
There's the billywig stings. I have the dried billywig stings. Now back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. Just thinking, can I, uh, can I make that disappear? Ah, oh, no, oh, it won't. Yeah, they won't let me do that because of it's not in the room of requirement. Can I, um, go out this way? And, oh wait, I just did. Oh, and look where we are. Uh, well, honeydukes, obviously. But um, okay, that's cool. Um, yeah, we didn't really need to sneak at all, so that's fine. I suppose I can just fast travel back to Gareth, rather than going all the way through the bloody passage again. Awesome! And they are none the wiser. I've just committed a crime! Oh my god, right. Back to Gareth. And then I think we'll call it a video. Shit, where was he again? Uh, why don't I just track the quest again, mage? Why don't Why don't you just do that? Oh, I am doing. Oh. Okay. There it is. Right. All right. Right. Gotcha. 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 Yep. Uh, might as well do what we did last time. Quite a fun little quest, not too challenging. Young friend. A brand new game. Oh my Just god. Beware, the open flame. <laughs> Bugger off, peeves. No one loves you. Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywigs things. You got them? Incredible. Here they are. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant. brilliant! Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. Fizzing whiz beer. I see what he did there. Uh, we got a Quidditch board. 7 out of 10 quests. 180 XP. Very nice. Okay. See you, Gareth. Alright, chaps. Well, I think, yeah, we're going to end it there. Next time, we'll probably go see Sebastian. And progress the story that way. I might also, I think I'm going to definitely dedicate some time to getting some more Merlin trials done as well. And just a bit of exploring maybe, but we're definitely going to go see uh, Sebastian and learn Confringo. And um, also, didn't we just get another assignment from Professor Sharp for, uh, yeah we did, Defindo. So, acquire and use an invisibility potion. And acquire and use a Thunderbrew potion against enemies. Right, so we'll try and do that next time as well. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. It's time for the the bean. Now, again, I would like to have a bean we've not had before, but I feel like we're probably running out of new ones. So I don't know if this is going to be a constant thing anymore, um, just because you've seen me eat all of them. So, like, I, and I also just don't have to eat another really bad one. Um, but I'm sure there's some flavors we've not gotten. So we're just going to see what I can pick out. Um, okay, I feel like I haven't had this one. Unless it's another grass one. Again, I wish I hadn't lost my bloody key. Oh, that's... That's not bad. I feel like it may have been grass again. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look up... I'm gonna have to find a key uh, online. Because I have no idea what some of the flavors are going to be. But since we've already had that one, I'm going to eat one more. Or maybe just find one that I haven't had. But I feel like that's cheating. Yeah, I think that was grass. I, th I feel like... Yeah, I feel like I've had most of them now. Um... Okay, I... Again, a lot of them look similar. I don't know. Uh... Right, I feel like I haven't had this one. Wish me luck. I re I think I haven't had this one. Oh! Oh! What the fuck was that? 
Oh! Oh, I need to look that one up. What was that? That was vile. Oh! That was a really, really nasty one. I have no idea what that was. Ugh. I couldn't even guess. Yeah, um, thanks for watching everyone. Please like and subscribe. We might not be having more beans uh, soon, but I hope you've enjoyed them anyway. Thanks for watching.